Hello folks, Samsung is all set to host the unpacked event on February 1st, where it will unveil three premium phones from the Galaxy S23 lineup. Now, tipster Snoopy Tech has shared some more marketing promo images that reveal the design and some other details of the Samsung Galaxy S23 series. The leaked promo images show the Galaxy S23 Ultra in a new botanic green color, whereas the Galaxy S23 Plus can be seen in the misty lilac color. The vanilla Galaxy S23 is being showcased in its cotton flower color option. Notably, the phones will also be available in the standard phantom black color. The Galaxy S23 promo images mainly highlight the design of the Galaxy S23 lineup, which we have seen multiple times on Iggy Tech channel. The Galaxy S23 Ultra has a boxier design with a curved display, while the other two models, the Galaxy S23 and the Galaxy S23 Plus, sport a flat frame and three circular camera modules, giving them a minimal look. Also, the Galaxy S23 promo image Images showcase how other Samsung products complement Samsung smartphones with ecosystem features. But that's the only start for today. Samsung's Galaxy S23 Ultra Crown Jewel gets a full spec sheet ahead of launch. Although the internal presentation slides leaked on Twitter are explicitly marked with a provisional label, the odds of every single detail and number listed below materializing in less than two weeks are at the very least solid. And that's a bad news, because there are some weird moments. The RAM is LPDDR5, not LPDDR5X, also no Wi-Fi 7 while Bluetooth 5.3. Just 10 watts wireless charging. Really? 10 watts? This is a pathetic downgrade from 15 watts, which was already pathetic. In the rest everything looks fine, as we expect, although the version of storage memory is not indicated here. I really hope that it will be UFS 4 and not UFS 3.1, otherwise I don't even know. We can bury the land before it's released? Guys, when I was editing this video, Ice Universe posted a tweet where it says that the RAM will still be LPDDR5X, so let's breathe out. Other interesting info that we didn't know, the primary camera of the S23 Ultra has an aperture of f1.7, the new S23 Ultra selfie camera has a resolution of 12 megapixels, and there is one terabyte available. Unlike its little brothers, of course, the Galaxy S23 Ultra is expected, nay, guaranteed to offer one big improvement over its predecessor, aside from the the customary yearly processing power bump. We're talking about the monster 200 megapixels shooter Samsung has already made official, and although a large number of megapixels doesn't automatically make for sharper photographs, this bad boy is reportedly something special. But will it be special enough to justify an expense of, say, $1,300 and up stateside with pretty much the same second, third and fourth rear-facing cameras in TOAS last year? That's clearly a question for each and every one of you to answer when Samsung's newest heavyweight contender for the title of best phone will commercially release on or around February 8th. Samsung is likely to try to sweeten the deal at launch, throwing in some cool pre-order freebies. And also the report claims that Samsung will offer free storage upgrades to those who pre-order a Galaxy S23 series phone. It means that it will get a 256GB version of the phone for the price of the 128GB version and a 512GB version of the phone for the price of the 256GB variant. And that's a really great offer. German Japanese Win Future has also published the specs for two of the models. The Galaxy S23 will sport a 6.1 inch display, while the Galaxy S23 Plus will feature a 6.6 inch screen. Both models will feature a 50 megapixels primary camera with an f1.8 aperture, a 12 megapixels ultra wide camera, and a 10 megapixels telephoto camera delivering 3x optical zoom. The 12 megapixels front facing selfie camera will include autofocus and carry an f2.2 aperture. The Galaxy S23 S23 and Galaxy S23 Plus will be powered by 3900 and 4700 battery respectively. The Galaxy S23 supports 25 watts fast charging, while the Galaxy S23 Plus will allow you to replenish the battery at 45 watts. Wireless charging features a 10 watts rate, and reverse wireless charging is available. Oh my god, 10 watts again from another source. Really, what a shame. I have no words. <coughs> Only a cough. And finally, from bad news to very bad news, prices. According to 9to5Google, it was able to get a look at pricing for the Galaxy S23 line in Australia. Based on this peak, the 128GB version of the Galaxy S23 will be priced at 1350 Australian dollars. The 128GB Galaxy S23 Plus will be tagged at 1650 Australian dollars, and the Galaxy S23 Ultra reportedly will cost 1000 
1,950 Australian dollars. That compares to the 1,250, 1,550 and 1,850 Australian dollars that the Galaxy S22 series models were priced at in the country. Australian Galaxy S23 buyers will be digging 100 Australian dollars deeper into their wallets to buy the 2023 flagship series. As you probably know, converting the foreign prices of a device into your currency usually doesn't result in accurate stateside pricing. But if it becomes more expensive in Australia, it will probably be more expensive all over the world. However, I wouldn't panic just yet. In my memory, every year there is leaked info about the price increase, but in the end it remains the same. Although everything is possible, so time will tell. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Sorry for my voice, I'm sick, but I'm trying my best. Subscribe to our channel for new videos. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.